Well, interestingly enough, in many other parts of the world, spirituality is regarded as the time, as the one time when men can let themselves be soft or open and loving. Studies of American men have shown, unfortunately, that our lives are most altered by and sometimes even steered by shame or aggression. And perhaps this is the reason why a soft or open quality intended for spiritual seekers is not thought of as masculine and why it's typical for men to lead a more spiritually closed life or lifestyle. This retreat is an opportunity to look inward and truly open ourselves up to our own spiritual lives without the narrative that it's not a masculine thing to do. This retreat inward, this opening up to spiritual life doesn't have to be done alone. You don't have to be a lone wolf. In the history of yoga, there's this concept of the knots that are tied around the chest. And these knots that reside in the chest or of the chest are believed to be broken by deep introspection and a lifting of our spirit away from even rational energy that we tend to think of as a masculine attribute. Those who attend this weekend excursion will be given the opportunity to approach this opening through the classical methods of abdominal kriya, like a pumping of the belly, the fire of the abdomen. This is one of the classical ways to bring energy up into the chest. We'll also explore yoga poses and postures that open the chest and the shoulders. We'll take advantage of the beautiful surroundings in Sandgate, Vermont, and have the option to experience humbling activities like cold water plunges in the Green River that just happens to flow through the grounds of the retreat center. We will hike and get in touch with things that are larger than ourselves in ways that only nature can do. We don't have to be the dominant force. We can open up to something greater than our individual self.